welcome to another episode of the Zoe B Show. I'm here at Ted's Barbecue in Huntsville, Alabama on University Drive. They sell, of course, barbecue, but you can get all types of meat such as pulled pork, bologna, sausage, and anything. Salad, sandwich, sandwich combo with side, and dessert. So come by with your friends and family at Ted's Barbecue. Here with me is Huntsville hip hop artist Carlos Hopkins. How are you? Fine, how are you? Doing good. So tell me, you got started doing music at age of four, but when did you really start taking it serious and say, okay, I need to be in the studio recording? Probably about 12, 13. Okay. Now you said a lot of people were feeling your music and they really wanted you to come out with a mixtape or a CD of your own. So who helped you get your first mixtape? Um, actually the first project was one of my closest friends. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes by Bird. His name is Alain Bird. So I used to do like a little on the day and he actually started with it. Now you do have Street Holocaust on your team now. Um, tell me how you all linked up. Well, actually, I'm the CEO of Street Holocaust. 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 I'm the like at that point, I was um, actually looking for management. I just had been trying to get them on my team for so long. So we finally had one that was locked in. Okay. Now, yeah. your up and coming album, Pump Fake. Self explanatory. It's about disconnecting yourself with fake people that you can't benefit from, that's not positive. So tell me what happened or is there any situation that happened in your life that made you come out with such a title? Well, I mean, for the most part, I definitely have got a lot of adversity. Right. You know, and it seemed like you try so hard to get range your best shot at somebody. Like, oh, always trying to block you out. So I decided to get the pump. Okay. Basically, haters. Haters, whatever you want to call them. I don't really believe in the term hater. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and why is that? I mean, just because you actually have to know me to hate me. Okay. Yeah. You know, know something about me to hate me. And hate on what I'm doing is, it's got to be something good. You know, it's not changing. Right. But as far as people blocking, you know, defensive line, O line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a yeah. hater. Um, anyway, yeah. I'm Right. Yeah. Okay, now, the motivation behind just writing music, period. Uh, I know that's very important to you because you want your music to really send a message out to your viewers and your audience. So tell me, what message do you want them to receive with Pump Face and your other kind of mixtape as well. Um, well, Pump Face being a mixtape and the album, I don't know what the error is You know, also self-explanatory. So I want people to realize and understand that, you know, it's more to it than just the music. Right. You know, anything could be, if you see it, but it could also be an illusion. Excuse me, so, you know, if it's thought to be hip hop or gangster or whatever, then I'm trying to do the exact opposite. I definitely want to motivate people to be themselves. Like, don't be afraid of being who you are. Um, that project is just, it's like something that's new. 